something entirely different, an erotic poem. As she undid my clothing, she undid all of my Catholic upbringing, too. I felt so much lighter, and all of my past confessions fell away into the rising of the moment. And then she talked dirty, which caused all the sensual stars inside of me to explode in bursts of flash and fire, freeing me from all past taught restraints. And then there were touches and touches, hands and lips and heart and hips, sweet oils from her and blood hardness from me, and our bodies came together in the oneness of each other and of the world, each stroke into her extinguishing all the misinformation poured into me in the cup of my past. And it all became a moving pleasure in the spinning of the earth, and we fully filled each other in this dirty, holy fire, Quick and slow, the little sounds she made, like punctuation marks in the story we were writing there on the pages of our skins with the ink of our rushing bloods. These continuing inches of journey and the minutes of lifetime, and these moments that held us like a rainbow holds the air, there and then it's not. But it is these moments, this moment, that is the all of it, as I propel myself into the chalice of her, made of silk and melted gold our bodies almost savagely coming together like two hands clapping, her liquids anointing me in a frenzy of fires, and we are burning, burning into and for these moments of together. I completely lost in the moment and found in the forever, all molten and reaching, and we explode into each other, your scream testimonial, my groans benediction, and all of all canoes inside of me erupt in a perfect spume of pleasure, blowing off the mountaintop, then floating on the sea, all quiet. After peace, this the perfect storm. Thank you.